Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mirror Neuron which means watch and learn. Today we are going to discuss and focus on loss function. First see with a basic real world example and then mathematically uh, in context to single variable or one dimensional ordinary least square. So the topic is loss function. Okay, but before we jump onto that, let's discuss how to make some recipe. <laughs> All right, I'm just kidding. Okay, so say for an example, uh, your grandma made a very tasty dish, right? And she used, say, two eggs, one teaspoon of salt, and half spoon of pepper, two boiled potato, and three pieces of bread. And it was so tasty that you promised her that on her next birthday, you are going to prepare the same dish for her. Okay, so sweet, right? All right, so what you did, uh, you started the preparation, which well and good, uh, but what happened was you used three eggs, right? And then you used proper, okay, one spoon of salt. And then you also used, say, uh, half spoon of pepper, which is also fine. But then you used two big potatoes and she used say at that time medium sized potatoes but he used two big potatoes and then you used four pieces of bread right so you can clearly see that there was some mismatch with the recipe that she prepared the dish and the way you prepared the dish right so when you tasted it it did not turn out to be that good right so what's the problem is when you you know shared that recipe with your grandma she told you that you know what instead of three eggs you should have used two eggs right that's that's a difference of one egg right that's the first correction there this was correct so there was no need to change zero there was no error there and then here also there was no error you used proper you know the amount of pepper that was required but instead of two big egg uh, sorry potatoes you should have used two medium sized potatoes so there is one correction here and so on so instead of three pieces of bread you used four again there is another mistake here so if you see the total error was three in this case right and here your grandma was there to tell you what was the mistake right and next time you could have then you know improve it so instead of three you would have taken two eggs one salt one teaspoon of salt half a spoon of pepper two medium sized potatoes and then you corrected it to three pieces of bread right very tasty <coughs> excuse me all right so there was somebody who corrected your recipe right and the same thing happens in machine learning you know there has to be a way to tell the machine that it's wrong in some places and how much it is wrong and that is the whole concept of loss function that somebody has to correct the approach right has to rectify that mistake and it can only do to a certain extent right and that is where the loss function comes into concept that it's a way of telling the machine that when it is learning it should correct itself and by how much amount right uh, so now let's see now that we have seen a simple real world example let's see how mathematically we can represent it and we'll do it in context to the ordinary list square method okay so when we say that we are dealing with one dimensional ordinary list square so just imagine that say i'm only using this column at this point of time and i'm not using radio i'm not using newspaper so we have seen so many examples in our previous videos that we are trying to fit a straight line so basically my sale price you know i'm trying to predict a sale price right and it looks something like this right remember we have so many examples we have done during our first derivative course in our math for machine learning section so say if i consider the first record here so for example i take m times 230 which is the first value in my tv ad and plus some constant b and i got say something as a 25 as my predicted sale so i can see that I'm off by around three values, right? So the original value is 22 and I predicted 25. Similarly, say I predicted 12 is equal to some multiplication of 45 plus B, right? And so that is a, it is off by about two, right? So originally it is 10.4 and I'm now predicting 12 and so on. 
So if you if you relate to the recipe, the grandma's recipe example that he took, basically we are trying to see how much off are we, okay? And in the ordinary least square, instead of just taking the value three, which is twenty five minus twenty two, and instead of taking uh, ten point four minus twelve, about two. So we are instead of that, we are actually taking one over n, which is the number of records we have multiplies by the original value minus the predicted value whole square and we take a summation of all these errors so this is my loss function in this case with a single variable so if i have more variables we'll see that in our later part of the course but here at least this is the uh, relationship mathematically when we're dealing with a single dimension now we will of course solve this using our first derivative the what we need to solve is the value of m and b so this these values here m and b we have to find out what are the values of m and b so we will do so in our subsequent videos but you have already seen these examples we have take did that you know excel project and then we also have done that in python project uh, this is just in continuation uh, so i hope you have learned something new today and that is why math is such a beautiful way of representing things right we can relate a real world situation mathematically all right thanks for watching and i hope you have learned something new today so please subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon for easy notification thank you and have a nice day